Pull up in the Sri Lanka, what? I'm gonna make a beat like Metro Boomin and start rapping. Mmm, see? And they just give you and dainty. Hey! Get suck my, hey! This place is a mess. Look, oh, uh, these cute. I like these. <laughs> Pinot Noir and Jesus. Uh -uh. Ruka don't mind. Ruka don't mind. Ruka don't mind. <laughs> see me like a blue lagoon from here onwards okay because I'm really gonna try this sunscreen thing and I don't give it flying hot damn also if you have any like tips for dry scalp let me know because I woke up and my shit was wider than Trump I said mmm my scalp anyways What's really good, y'all? Shigeru Yorooks, and today is Wednesday, March. I said March. Today is Wednesday, May 8th. I don't think I closed out the vlog yesterday, so I'm going to close it out today. Yesterday, I did go to the movies, and I did see The Fall Guy. It was cute. It was cute. However, I could have waited to watch that outside of the theaters. I did not need to go to the theaters to watch it. But I do like Ryan Gosling a lot. I do. I have never watched The Notebook, though. Crazy enough, I've never watched The Notebook, nor have I watched La La Land. However, I do like Ryan Gosling. Maybe it's because he, um, either way, it was a good film. It was for the stuntmen. It was literally, I think it's a movie by stuntmen, honestly, because it even came with a, a thing in the beginning where it was like, hey, stuntmen do all the work and don't get any credit. There was like a line in the movie, it was like, wow, you're a stuntman? Do they have Oscars for those? And like, it was a long pause where it was like, no, they don't. Which kind of like insinuates that they need to, blah, blah, blah. It was a cute film. It was a cute film. It was more so a love story than an action film. I will say that. It was, it was very, very corny. It was very, very corny. Anyways. I did enjoy it though. And that concludes that day of mayhem yesterday. So if you're new here and you finish watching it and you, f you like what you see, you fuck with your girl, then please like, comment, and subscribe. Comment something beautiful underneath the comment section. IG, Twitter, TikTok, I got those. They'll be in the description box below and on your screen. Thank you for choosing to watch another day of mayhem with me. And my blue face. Ugh. Not that nigga. I literally. The cast on my face. Yeah. E. Don. Cast. I'll talk to y'all today. But in the other vlog. Peace. A few moments later. What's really good, y'all? your girl, Young Rooks. And today is Wednesday, May 8th. It's another day, another mayhem, and we are going to the doctors. I need to go get some blood work done, some labs done, and then I do want to go to Torrid to see if they have any slacks, and then I need to start packing, getting last-minute items if I need them, and then skedaddling. I think I may also go to Bath & Body Works because I think they're having a sale on their miniature items, and I could get a quick miniature um I think I also have a free item. I could get a miniature body wash. I could just get a quick $3, thousand wishes, thousand kisses a night after, whatever the fuck those things are called, to just wash my body during this weekend. Um, and then I think I wanted to do, oh yeah, I wanted to go to shoe deal. I'm gonna have to take y'all with me then if I'm gonna do all that stupid shit. Let me see. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that real quick. What do you say about it? And then, um, yeah, we can see about it. That's no problem. And then come back, do some work, and then start packing. So let's get into it. Not sure it is now. See what we got going on? It's a little early, so 
Ain't too many people in this bitch. That's good. Okay, so they be having some good classes. I know I like big glasses. Oh, these look expensive though. Look. This is cute. Thank you. I'm vlogging. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I am. If that's okay. Me. Just me. Not anybody. Alright. I promise. These are cute too. Nah, they don't do it for me like these do though. Personally. I didn't even come in here for these. I didn't come in here for no type of glasses. You know what other glasses I like? I like, I like the cat. Oh, bitch, they got them in, in this color. Oh, let me see what I like. I don't like them as much as I like the black. And I really like the black. I'm getting them for sure. Don't need them now. Mind you, I'm supposed to be on my way to Go get some blood work done. These are cute too though. I like looking expensive without. Oh, these cute. These cute. They're not. They're not speaking to me like these black ones. But these are cute. Not my style. Cause they small, but. See? I'm actually feeling them though. That's what's so crazy. Huh? Okay. Yeah. But for now, let me try these. You know how you gotta really convince yourself? Let me try these on one more time. Let me try these on one more time just to see. Braids are like right. Oh no, I'm getting them. No, I'm getting them. I'm getting them. Yeah. Didn't come for these, but. But yeah. But they have them in pink too. I think I'm. I think I'm. I'm fucking with the all black. Anyways, I came for a purse. You see that? They, they got the. They got the Louis Vuitton, which is what I like. Something that I can just, oh, this is cute. This is cute, bitch. These look like they 25, though. This is cute. And it's heavy. My bleached, my bleached, uh, these are cute, too. Ooh, cute little daytime bag. But nah, this one is cute. I like that. I think I need a clear bag though. And then I don't have any like, like black bags, like cute black bags. I can go to Ross though. I can go to Ross. This is cute. See, this is cute. I can go to Ross. I can go to Ross. 
to get something cute. We can go look at the shoe too, since I'm already here. turn off my camera because supposedly some other girls came in there to vlog last year and somebody saw they vlog and the DA came in there saying y'all can't um, buy fake, I mean y'all can't sell fake shit cause shooting or they sell fake shit they do but like what's the problem like let us buy fake shit what's, what's the issue for real anyway speaking of fake shit um, I'm so excited about these my braids like are getting caught in them, but like, yeah. And then another thing is that you small foot bitches, you y'all some lucky hoes. Oh, these is fire. Sorry, y'all some lucky bitches. Like, because my wide foot ass, size eleven ass, motherfucking ass, I can't get no good shoe. Like, all the shoes in there are for narrow foot, small foot bitches. That's not fair. That's not fair to me. Is it? Right. Bitch, I don't look expensive out. I don't look like I'm I, I'm clocking tea. Like, don't make me clock your tea. Don't make me call your manager, bitch. Fine. Oh, baby. These are staying in the car. No, but I might have to take pictures with these. I might have to take pictures with these. Because who the fuck you think you're talking to? Crazy enough. Crazy enough, I don't use sunglasses for their intended purpose. Like, I can't remember the last time I saw so much sun and I was like, oh, I need my sunglasses. Never. I ain't never went that way. I ain't never went that route. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, let me get my ass on because that was not the purpose. But now that I know, like, the DA done uh, raided they shit and they don't got no, no, no good fake dupes no more. I'm good, like, and they got some cute shoes in there, like, they got the Hermes, um, slide dupes, but, like, I could get those, my friend got hers at Kohl's, I could get those at Kohl's, baby, more quality, too, you know what I'm saying, so, I'm not too pressed, I'm not too moved. Yeah, why well, did, first of all, the, uh, phlebotomist that takes my vows, she's a thicker woman, she never misses. Shout out to the women who take the time out to for patient care. Why are you in the medical field without patient care? And she always shows care. Like, whenever she takes my blood, she do not miss. She don't have to poke me more than one time. Whether the blood is slow, whether the blood is fast, she always gets it. Um, but I also had to give urine. And why, when I get my urine, Mind you, I don't have to pee, so it took me a minute. It dropped. <laughs> I just gave them an empty cup. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to tell them to rerun them labs, cause baby, ain't no pee for them to uh, analyze. I said, "What the hell, Ruka?" Mind you, the last time, the last time I came here, something similar happened again regarding my. I don't know. The pee pee test just. Bitch, I know you see me coming home. The but now I'm gonna go to Tour and I'm gonna shop the uh, clearance section, see if they got any slacks or anything. Something very PG 13 or PG for me to wear to my sister's graduation. Because another thing that I suffer from is the fact that pants they be long on your girl, you know. I'm a 5'5 five five bitch, so they be long on your girl, and I don't want to be doing because I'm assuming with the east coast you do a lot of walking, and I don't want to do a lot of walking and drag my my trousers to where they're dirty as shit, you know? So that is an issue that I have, but it's a good issue to have because of course with heels, they look bomb. 
Um, are these apartments? But yeah. Anyway. Why did they call me just now? <laughs> they called me just now to come back. I'm thinking with urine samples, they gotta, um, you can't take it home, but this not a drug. This not a drug urine test. This is a regular urine test, so. Um, anyway, um, at Park West, I said North, North Park, East Park. Anyway, I'm finna hit tore it up. Tore it. Can y'all see that? when you call me on the phone. Uh, uh, it may be jumped. I'm tired of walking. One thing I love about Tour is that it has a fan in the dressing room. Cause the big bitches get hot. Like we get hot, bro. So cute. These are cute, but I just I would need them in like a bigger size. I would need them in a bigger size. I don't even think y'all can see. Yeah, y'all can't see, but these are cute. Okay, my choppers, let's chat for a little bit. So I think I spoke about a plus size influencer. Her name is Now. She's some she's some bad Canadian who, again, she was retweeted a long time ago by Ocho Cinco and then she just blew up and she's, she's done. She's just basically a content creator. I don't follow her, but I do see her on my page from time to time. So like I told y'all, she got gastric sleeve and she stated she was over 400 pounds and she's lost about 150 pounds since then and then she's it's been like an eight month journey she did share this on twitter i don't follow her on any other social media nor do i follow her on twitter but you know twitter has a for you page so whatever they feel is for you and fat bitch shit then they're gonna send it to you so ever since she has shared that she has gotten surgery there have been some people of the plus size community who feel as though that because it's so crazy. So the quote is, it's so crazy how she's built such a uh, immense plus size following just for her to lose all of that weight and feel as though she's better than people. And let me go and read it verbatim. It says, cause she was, she was, um, she was replying to a lot of people and, um, I have to read it to you guys. So I'm not making things up. It says, nobody's attacking now because she lost weight, but it's definitely crazy how a lot of plus size creators are losing weight after building their platform for plus size content. I'm sorry, I'm sorry that y'all benefit off of plus size women then get to losing weight stating that you're better now than before. And then she went on to double down and say, this is just some random person. She was like, um, there's a lot of content creators who pretend after they lose so much weight, they pretend that they were never big to begin with. And I've seen that before. I've seen, and I know people who were big and have lost weight and then they've become um, creators, content creators or fitness influencers uh, stating, you know, basically being condescending towards the plus size community. 
I just want to go on to say, as somebody who's a plus size woman, my content isn't centered around being plus size. I just happen to be a human being that is plus size. I don't want people to think that, oh, because my subscribers tend to be plus size that I'm building a platform based off of plus size. No, 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 no. Because as y'all know, I'm currently going through a journey towards better health. Um, and that's going to be a long time because I have been obese for quite some time. So I always say Rome wasn't built in a day. I, my comfort is in food. There are a lot of things mental. There are a lot of hurdles that I have to jump jump over and obstacles I have to overcome in order to truly begin and create a lifestyle based off of health and wellness. That being said, two things, y'all know me and I'm such an advocate for two things can be true at one time. There is a truth that there are plus size content creators that have built their content off of being plus size, meaning they do their hauls plus size content. They show their diet plus size content. They speak on plus size issues, <clears throat> meaning their content is usually revolved around the plus size community. I have seen with my own eyes, women and men alike, lose weight to where they're no longer plus size and then they no they're no longer an advocate for the plus size community so all the things that they went through when they were big is gone out of their mind i'm not big anymore so that shit doesn't affect me anymore i don't have to advocate for that anymore it's none of my business if y'all don't if y'all if y'all want me to speak on that stop being fat basically i've seen it with my own eyes i've also seen people who have to lose weight or they'll die they will die, y'all. Y'all, some people are so um, upset about some of these plus, plus size content creators going to the gym or losing weight or changing their diet or going vegan. Meanwhile, they went to the doctor and the doctor told them they had a mild stroke or a mild my, myocardial infarction. They had an MI. They had a heart attack. They have to lose weight or they'll die. They went to the doctor and found out they had type one, type two, type three diabetes. They had to lose weight unless they die. Also, on the non-extreme side, some of them finally decided that, hey, let me lose some goddamn weight. Not for anybody else. I don't have any type of medical situations going on and uh, underlying medical issues going on. I just wanna lose weight for me. I just wanna feel better. I just want to walk up a, a flight of stairs without panting. I want to look good in this top. I want to do things. And I, and or, in order to do these things, I must lose weight. That is not being an enemy towards the plus size community. That is not being a sellout or a cop out. That's not somebody trying to uh, forget their past. That's just somebody who's decided to make a different lifestyle choice and proceed with that choice. So I can see how both are true. And another thing that was coming from the conversation was that as, cause she's been, she's been in the plus size field as a content creator for I think a decade now. Like I remember seeing her for a while and um, people were saying like, she used to be somebody that they looked up to for confidence because she would go out in her size, in her shape and wear sexy clothes and look really good and because of see because of them seeing that they decided to wake up their confidence as well um and so somebody was like you know teenage year old me seeing her lose so much weight cut would have fucked my mind up because she was the source of opening up my confidence as a plus size woman i feel that i do i because i get that compliment myself I get the compliment that you, me living in my own skin has propelled others to be confident in theirs too. You know, people tend, people who are plus size tend to hide within themselves. They tend to wear oversized clothing. They don't want to look too sexy. Um, they don't want to wear tights, you know, stuff like that. And I don't give a fuck about any of that because if I'm going to live, I'm going to live sexy. Y'all know me. If I'm going out, my titties out at the very least. So I've received a compliment before. But I also think that as human beings, we need to be able to stand on our own two feet. 
and we need to be able to be our own person. And seeing somebody lose weight shouldn't cause such a visceral react visceral reaction to where y'all are fighting her for losing weight. That's insane to me. And I've seen it more than one time, especially on TikTok, where people will uh, plus size women will be in the comments calling people sell out and you did all of this and just to um, act like you weren't fat to begin with, you're an enemy, you're a traitor, all from somebody losing weight. I've seen a plus size woman lose weight and be called fat phobic because she lost weight. I've seen it, like I've seen it. And I've also experienced people that I know who have lost weight who have turned to fitness because fitness was what they utilized to, to lose weight to the point where they want to show people the routines and the techniques and the sets that they did to lose weight. And that will encourage those who are plus size to lose weight. And then I've seen them act like they were never big before, one, or be condescending and belittling to the plus size community. Oh, the plus size community is just lazy. Look at me, I did it. Um, everybody's just making excuses for themselves. This is just an excuse, this, 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 this. I've seen it. So I understand where she's coming from, but I don't think that we need to pile on or be disrespectful for somebody losing weight or getting surgery. Because for one thing, if I, or when I, let me just put that in the air. When I lose enough weight for people to be like, oh my gosh, Rika's no longer plus size. If y'all call me a sellout, I promise you, I'm gonna make us. I'm, I'm gonna make them beat like Metro Boomin and start rapping. And I'm insulting every single person and I'm name dropping. I'm gonna make sure I get your handle, your at, and I'm gonna name drop it in the song because if you're that bothered about me losing weight from my health, then I'm gonna bother you. I'm gonna bother you. It's that simple. But it's just it it, it baffles me. I think it's just so crazy. Damn, I'm 17 minutes away from my home. But it just baffles me how um, I was just talking about how she lost so much weight the other day, just for people, just for me to see this on my timeline. Like people are really going in on her, calling her a sellout and acting like they said, don't think you're better than the plus size community just because you lost weight. When the fuck did she say that? And you know, when people get surgeries like this or when people lose a lot of weight at one time, their, their body dysmorphia, oh my gosh, it be fucking them up. And like, she's going, she's talking about how she's battling body dysmorphia. Mind you, although she's lost 150 pounds, the bitch is still 360. Or 347, she said. But she's still big. She's still big. As fuck, actually. This is coming from somebody in the three in the three club. So, it's 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 mind-boggling to me. Like y'all over there yelling from the rooftops, man. She is sellout. She this. She that. What she say? Cause somebody responded. Somebody responded to her initial tweet. Was like, um, I'm sorry, but now is benefiting off of plus size women then getting to losing weight and stating that she's now better than she was before somebody was like i'm not trying to be away but walk with me maybe she is and does feel better than she was before because she lost weight and what's wrong with that she never branded herself as a plus size influencer she's just a fly girl regardless of if she's big or not and the person responded and was like while i agree with you to a certain extent she still benefits from the plus size community she knows a lot of her following are plus size and i pers and she said i personally feel like if you lose weight that's in it and that's your thing that's fine but please don't make it seem like you're now better because you aren't fat anymore and it's not even just now it's a lot of plus size creators who have lost weight and basically pretended that plus size them never existed which is crazy and I have to agree because I've, I've experienced that. But I also know, like, motherfuckers, when they become a new person and look like a new person, there's identity crisis going in as well, uh, alongside body dysmorphia. That's why when people get surgery, you have to be tested with your mind, too. You have to go see somebody. And they have to ask you questions. And they have to clear you for this surgery to make sure that you are strong enough mentally to handle this once you, receive, once you uh, see the results. Like, come on now. Y'all can't um, <clears throat> crucify somebody because they want to lose weight. I remember I saw a tweet where it was like, it's fat phobic to, to get weight loss surgery. Or weight loss surgery is fat phobic. I said, Jesus. Uh-uh. 
mind you, I want to say this. If even if that is all of this is true, if everything makes sense, it is fat phobic and you're a sellout, you're a cop out. I don't give a fuck about any of that. I've never been small in my life. I've never been skinny. I've never been under a size 16 growing up, 13 and up. I, I haven't been. So if I ever get the chance, excuse me, when I get the chance to be that, I promise you, I may not be a whole new bitch, but I'm going to be somebody that nobody recognized, baby. And that's why it's just so funny to me because I, I understand if you are, are content, a plus size content creator, but you can't tell me that somebody's going to the gym. She's been going to a gym um, for a year. She's lost a hundred pounds. And now y'all are saying, Oh, you're not the same as you once were. You just lost weight. and You think you're better than everybody. That's not them. That's you. That's your insecurities talking, baby. Because nobody said anything like that. But I want to make sure y'all know that my my content is not wrapped around or centered around being plus size. Fuck that shit. I just happen to be fat. <laughs> I just happen to be fat. That's it. So I don't want nobody talking about, oh, uh, Ruka lost weight and she thinks she, hey, 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 shut your mouth. Shut your damn fucking mouth, man. Don't come to me like y'all are coming to these plus size content creators talking about that stupid shit. Because you know one thing about me that these content creators don't really do is I clap the fuck back. Fuck what you're talking about, bro. Because just like you're a human being, I'm a human being. Y'all think because being a public figure and being on camera and, and probably entering another tax bracket, I can't say certain things anymore because of uh of image. Fuck you. Fuck what? Hey! Hey, I want you to literally bend me over, spread both my butt cheeks and my labias, and then eat my crack. Fuck what you're talking about, bro. Y'all are never going to make me feel a, a certain type of way because I decided to do something for myself. What? What are you talking about, bro? What are you saying, dog? What are you saying? And it's so it's so funny because I was talking to one of my friends a long time ago and I was talking to her about weight loss surgery and I said one of the reasons that I don't feel I don't want to get it is cuz I don't want people to call me a sellout and say I took the easy way out. Now? Mind you that was a long time ago. Now? I, hey. I don't give up. Oh, 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 I don't give up. persuade me not to do something because you think that I'm going to be something to you. You don't pay my bills. You do not fuck me. You don't take care of my mama, my daddy. Like, how dare you? <laughs> what are you talking about? And again, I want y'all to know that there's sense into what people are saying. There, uh, There's a lot of sense. It makes so much sense. I just don't give a fuck. And you should have, and, and then we also need to look at the root of the issue. If you feel as though somebody's a seller to cop out and they're doing all of this other stuff and they feel like you're better than them, let's let us let us take a look inward, shall we? You feel me? Let's take a look inwards. Now, if they are obviously feeling that type of way, you can tell. Cause I've seen some content creators who talk stupid and I'm like, bitch, you are fat. You were fat before. Is this how you would want people to talk to you when you were still big? I've definitely seen that. So I can I can keep that calm. But for the most part, come on now. Don't put labels on somebody who's never put labels on themselves, such as those, and then feel some type of way when they remove those labels that you placed on them. Come on now. Come on. Come on, dog. This is what happens when you have 20% off of shoes. This place is a mess. This place is a mess. Look. A mess. Twenty percent off of shoes. I really want these, but it's just like, where am I wearing these to? But they're cute though. Trying to close in ten minutes though. They have them in white and black, but I, the the pink is speaking to me the most. Those are kind of speaking. What's really good, y'all? We're back in the crib. I just went to it for a quick Target run. It wasn't quick. Everybody was trying to get their items at the last minute. They closed the store at 10, started closing off, turning off the lights. Lines was longer, longer than, ugh. My hair before my mama permitted when I was 12. But anyways, I had a productive day today. I, um, you know, went to go get my labs done. 
and then I did go to tour it, but there wasn't really thing, anything in there for me. And then I, um, you know, worked, then went um, to Target. So I want to go because I found some cute jeans, some cute white leg jeans at Target. So I want to go to another Target because they didn't have, they had a 24 and the 24 fit fine, but I know the 26 would eat better. So I'm going to go to another Target to see about it. And then, um, what is this? But I did want to show y'all what I got from Target that was noteworthy. Sorry, I'm trying to multitask. I'm not good at it. But yeah, so I did end up getting those shoes. So um, for the stadium for the graduation, they're not allowing bags. But I'm thinking they'll allow a clear bag. So I saw this bag when I was in the line for checkout. Um, and I had a 30... So Target had 20% off of shoes, and then in the Target circle, they had a 10% off of your entire purchase when you purchase in store. And then I had a $30 gift card. Did I say that? So $30 gift card, $20, 20% uh, off of shoes, and then 10% from the Target app. So I saw this on the, um, while I was waiting that long ass line, checkout line, and I think it's cute. You know, I, you know, I'm a sucker for iridescent, and it's clear. Um, and I think it's small enough, but it'll still be able to hold, I hope, hold my phone. I hope. Well, at least just, I mean, I'm saying I hope, like I can't put this motherfucker in there. I mean, it'll poke out, but that's okay. At least I can have it. And I'm hoping that because it's clear, they'll allow it. They said five by seven. Does it look like I'm motherfucking Bob the Builder with a measuring tape? I don't know. But I only bought this. I want to go to Ross tomorrow as well. So I want to go to Target and I want to go to Ross tomorrow. If Ross doesn't have anything like, um, if Ross doesn't have anything better, I will keep this. But if Ross does have something better, I will return. But I also got some draws. I needed more. Each draw is expensive. This was like $16. Well, they were expensive. I'm like big bitch draws when the big bitch draws get so expensive but um how much were they where's the receipt oh i got watermelon i'm glad i love watermelon i love motherfucking watermelon did she scan my watermelon oh she did damn anyways these were yeah 15.99 and 16.50 why are you so expensive let's be fucking for real please but um i needed panties i need a draw so i'm gonna be taking these with me to dc as well just have some new draws i didn't want to get i didn't want to go to lane bryant and get like them draws over there um because i want some draws that i can i don't you know i don't I, I don't have to worry about i can rely on these watermelons this little cup was uh four dollars so they better be fucking delicious. Huh? They better be fucking nutritious. Delicious and nutritious. Mmm. Mmm. I'm getting a little bit of an aftertaste, but that's okay. Um, and yes, I did end up buying these slippers. I just think they're so cute. And y'all know I'm a sucker for dainty. And they just give cute and dainty. And like when I, I wear a lot of black, so I'm thinking like when I wear all uh, black and I just need a pop of color, I can wear these bad boys because they're so cute. They're so cute. I was trying to I was trying so hard to put my big ass feet in these in those Hermes dupes because everybody has the dupes Target has the dupes Ross has the dupes Coles has the dupes everybody has the dupes baby so I'm trying to get my hands on them too baby I'm trying to see about them too but they was not letting me make it they was not letting me make it I said god dang that's okay I'm gonna take one for the wifey bitches that's no problem with me that's no problem with me. And then I got, a t I was watching the TikTok. Uh, a guy was doing what's in his purse. And he had like, a, I think he had like a Hermes purse or something like that. But he had a tie to go. And I told you guys, like, whenever I eat, my titties eat. So I was thinking to myself, why don't I have one? 
So I bought one. I bought some wipes for my ass. I thought I bought three wipes. I only got two. I bought some wipes for my ass. Makeup wipes. Uh, toothpaste. And then I didn't know they had travel uh, TheraBreath. So, copped it. I thought I bought three. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, but I am excited. I haven't pa I haven't started packing yet. We will start packing tomorrow. But for right now, oh yeah, I forgot I got these glasses. Mm -mm -mm. Let me see if I still love them. I can't return them anyway, but <sighs> I'm sorry, y'all. These make me feel so expensive. And like I have to hop off the flight and immediately go. Cause she has a not the commencement, not the hooding, but she has a, I don't know. It starts with a B, but she has that on Friday. So I am going to have to hop off the jet and immediately go. You see how I'm saying jet? Meanwhile, I'm in economy, but still, <laughs> but still. Cause y'all know the big ass YSL ones that they have this. I'm, I'm assuming these are the dupes. Um, but Ruka don't mind. Ruka don't mind. Ruka don't mind. <laughs> yeah, I still love them. I still love them. Yeah, I think I'm going to hop off the plane with these on me. I think I'm going to hop off the plane with these on me. <laughs> um, I forgot about these. That's exciting, though. So this is coming with me to DC. And then I got, ooh, I got some goodies. So, I got bar soaps. I'm going to try them if I break out. That's on me. I got Noir. Mmm, smells good. Oh, this is men's collection. Why did they put this in the men's? I mean, why did they put this in the bitch section? So, I got Noir. Um, Pinot Noir. And then I got Apple. Apple smells so good. It smells so good. So I think I'm gonna take this one. But noir smell good. Noir smell good too though. I might get I might take this one. I don't know. I'm excited though, because I got options. Um then cause so cause they had a sale. I, th I think I told y'all they had a sale. All of these were $2.95 each. So then I got stress relief, ultra uh, ultimate hydration um cream, travel cream, body cream. I got it, I got the body wash as well. Um, this shit smell good as hell. It's vanilla buttercream hand cream. It smells sexy. I, I'm gonna I'm need this. I saw the sprinkles and shit. I said, mm, need it. Oh, I, I had to get my gingham. This is gingham unstoppable cologne mist. It smells so good. Smell so good. So I'm gonna keep this in my purse. Um, and then I got, this was a just a blind buy. It's called Brightest Bloom. Um, it smelled okay when I when I when I sprayed it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it smells good. And then I got Into the Stars body wash. So because um, this sale was happening, and I live in a predominantly Middle Eastern neighborhood, they ransacked that Bath and Body Works. I barely got anything. I got another body gel. It's called Pure Wonder. This one smells good. I got the Gingham uh, hand cream, and then I got the Sleep. Oh, I might try this right now. I might try this right now. So, yeah. I'm excited about these items, too. Let me see. Which one am I taking, though? I'm definitely putting this one in my bag. Should I take the Stress Relief Body Wash? I want to smell good, though. Okay, no. I'm taking Apple with me. I'm taking Apple with me. And then I'm going to take Pure Wonder with me. And I'm just taking... I'm just leaving. Yep. Good choice with that. Good choice. I'm going to just leave these. And then everything else is coming with me. It's coming with me. It's coming with me. It's coming with me. This is definitely coming with me. This is not coming with me. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take these flats with me because they don't feel comfortable. They do not feel comfortable. I think they're they're plastic. So I'm not gonna take these with me. Oh, I need to take this with me. And then everything else for now. Let's 
stay inside. Until I figure out what I'm gonna do. Since I like buying shit. These are so cute though. These are so cute. If you don't think they're cute, shut the fuck up, okay? Anyway, that's it. That's all for your girl for today. Thank you for staying with man. That Target was ransacked, y'all. Thank you for coming with me to another mayhem. Mm -mm. Oh, and another thing about that fat topic. Why did I see a tweet talking about before and after pictures during your fitness journey is fat phobic? I literally, I nearly lost my shit. I said, what? Pull up in the Sri Lanka, what? I have to show y'all the tweet. Let me screenshot it. It says, well, the tweet that before it was deleted, but it says, no bad. I think KY now think they, think they snapped there. So now I'm so sorry. I misgendered them. She, I think she's, I think they're they them. Forgive me. But before and after photos are so fat phobic and unnecessary. What the fuck is there to be proud of about getting thinner? Why would she post that and try to act like it isn't what it is? I said, what? It literally says, what the fuck is there to be proud of about get it thinner? Hey! Oh! What? Take thinner out of the equation. Take thinner out of the equation. If somebody feels as though they're progressing in their health and wellness journey, and sometimes with body dysmorphia or just self-doubt in general, you need to be reminded with visuals that you're doing what you need to do where you need to do it. So you may be thinking to yourself and looking at yourself in the mirror saying nothing has changed until you look at a photo from three months ago and you're like, holy shit, I done did that. I don't see, I see the change now. But then you're telling me that something that I'm using to visualize the changes that are happening with my body is fat phobic to you? Hey. I don't ever want my fatness or me doing what I need to do for my body end up being a topic of conversation to where people feel the need to call me fat phobic for changing my, my, my views and my body. Because if you have a comment about what I'm doing to where losing weight is something that's seen as an insult or disgrace in your community, please let me know so I can block you and or fight you. Please. Let, let's, let's get this done and out the way for real, for real. Cause that's insane. You feel me? I'm gonna screenshot this to make sure y'all can read what I just read. Cause I couldn't believe my eyes and people were agreeing with this person. I said, man, y'all some jobless motherfuckers for real. Y'all some jobless motherfuckers for real, but okay. Anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog for real. If you're new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Comment something beautiful underneath the comment section. Choppers, I appreciate y'all. Y'all already know what the deal is. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. I'm on those. It's going to be in the description box and on your screen. We're going to chop it up another day. See you tomorrow when we pack. Peace! Oh, damn. I do.
Lord is free.